Good evening. What went wrong and why? Those are some of the questions swirling around a radioactive leak at a nuclear waste storage facility near Carlsbad that contaminated 13 people. Today, the feds talked about that leak and the future of the plant. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live near Carlsbad with the very latest. Alex? Today, we were uh, told that there are plans to go back underground and pinpoint exactly what happened, but there aren't a lot of concrete answers to that and many other questions we have. The leak was detected about two weeks ago when sensors picked up elevated radiation levels at the WIP facility about 26 miles east of Carlsbad. That plant stores low-level nuclear waste for the federal government. The Department of Energy says the level of radiation that got out of WIPs underground are relatively small, about a quarter of what you'd get from a chest x-ray. But employee testing identified 13 above-ground workers who were contaminated, and many more are being tested right now. The health risks of that exposure are unknown. Right now, we're told 182 essential workers are still on the job and that they are believed to be safe, safe, excuse me, but nobody is going underground. It's unclear what caused the radiation leak, possibly a roof or ceiling collapse. This is WIP's first major incident since it started storing waste nearly 15 years ago. The feds say a review of what went wrong and WIP's long-term future will be closely examined in the months ahead. I would also include is the design appropriate and all of those things that go with that. We have to fix the immediate problem, you know, before I can think about, you know, what happens in the future here. The plan to find out what went wrong includes sending air monitoring probes and then people after that underground to pinpoint the problem. They say they will not rush or put anyone at undue risk to do that. The feds today reiterated the city of Carlsbad itself is not at risk. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you.